What is up everybody? It's your boy Prince Juice here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K20 and we got Phoenix here. We got the Phoenix. You okay? Your face looked kind of weird. Ooh. Um, last week when I tried to do Raw, the game crashed, and I was in the middle of it, and just like, okay, well, whatever, I guess, but that's not the case tonight, no, 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 we got Ruby Riot, Becky Lynch, Tamina and Mickey James, there's a lot of women's action tonight, but we're, but it's all in the beginning, <laughs> Nia Jax and Lita, Carmella versus Natalia, and I forgot to get rid of Truth. King Kaiba and Mike Kanellis. Matt Hardy versus one half of the tag team champions, Randy Orton. The Hated versus the Ustos. And AJ Styles versus The Miz. Let's hop into this. This Sunday, guys, is uh, SummerSlam. And what was I going to say? Oh, NXT is going to be pretty lit, so don't miss NXT. Actually, we got a uh, triple threat tag team. Ta triple threat tag team. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Wait, that is a thing. That is a thing. Um, we got a triple threat match for the NXT World Championship that may or may not be a street fight between Alex Strano, Lars Sullivan, and El Valagotoro. We got Becky Lynch and Ruby Riot. I am playing this match as Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch gets hit with a snake eyes from Ruby Riot. You done hanging out? Yeah, she's getting down. She never wants to stay around. I feel like I'm really off focus tonight, which is not good for recording. <laughs> like I felt like I just skipping tonight, but I was like, I can't do that to my people. Nice time is carried from Ruby Riot, and she takes down Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch gets lifted up. Ruby Riot tries to pick her up and it's unsuccessful. Becky Lynch sends Ruby Riot into the corner. Goes up top. Armbar, armbar gonna be locked in. Gets herself down. Gets him back in the ring. Leg sweep. Ruby's telling her to get down and that ain't gonna be a problem. I need to come up with a new joke for that. <laughs> <laughs> nice forearm from Lynch. Sends right into the corner with a nice forearm. The first knob was unsuccessful. Dropped the ring. Oh, nice attack from Lynch. Lynch goes up top. Nice leg drop. Picks up Riot and chucks her across the ring. Nice leg drop from Becky Lynch. We could be seeing another one. Two leg drops from Lynch. Rolls Ruby Riot over. Attacking the knees. Nice uppercut from Becky Lynch. She just keeps attacking and attacking and attacking. Lynch takes down Ruby Riot into a disarmor. Oh, crap. Ruby Riot is able to get out of it. Front ends of Guri was unsuccessful. And Becky Lynch is going to take advantage of that. Nice super kick from Ruby Riot, and now a super kick from Becky Lynch. Nice suplex. 
attacking the arm, which is not a bad idea for from Lynch. We want to weaken them arms. Oh, and Zaguri dropping Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch seems to be out from that. This could be the match right here. No, I was wrong. Becky Lynch is able to kick out from Ruby Riot. I thought I thought maybe Ruby Riot had it there. We were trying to figure out what she wants to do. She heads up to the top rope. Becky Lynch got the knees up. Ruby Riot is in some pain. Becky Lynch with a backsplex. Oh, I have to get her up for that. There's not one like on the ground. Becky Lynch takes down Ruby Riot to get into another disarmor. Becky Lynch lets her out. Looking for a cover. Ruby Riot has had enough. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll just slay here and let Becky Lynch pin me. Either that's what they do in wrestling anyway. But y'all, y'all feel me. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. Um, make it. Why did I even have to think about that? We have Tamina and Mickey James up next. Oh, by the way, guys, we have another. I mean, this is probably something that's like kind of known by now. We have another debut on Wednesday as well as the uh, triple threat match. We have Wendy Lou making her debut on Wednesday. And so far, we got two more debuts after that. But that's it for right now. Nice forearm from Lynn, from James. I have a bad tendency with that. Like, I, I can't let go of the last match. We have uh, Mickey James and Tamina right now. Nice elbow from Mickey James. They want to drop Tamina. Elbow to the head. Tamina trying to shake it off, but I don't think that's going to happen here. Nice takedown from Tamina. Mickey James getting up with a nice punch to the gut. Nice front kick. Nice backdrop. Mickey James really taking it to Tamina. Mickey James ascends to the top rope. Okay, does referee just yell at me? Because if he just yells at me, I got a problem. Because in the last match, when, um, who did I just beat? Ruby Riot went to the top rope. Ruffery didn't do shit. I just, I just want that to be known. Ruffery has a problem with me. We can square off. James goes up. Nice. Hurricanrana. Nice leg job and Tamina just kind of like collapsed. But that leg job, it looks like it affected Mickey James a little bit as well. Mickey James is going to still keep fighting. Snap there. Something you ain't going to just wake up from either. I mean, maybe. You might wait. I mean, you get snap there and then get knocked out, I guess. Nice back elbow from Tamina. Nice neck kick. I feel like that looked really nice. Happy that's how the match ended, and I don't have my drink. Where's my drink? Did I leave my drink downstairs? I left my drink downstairs. Hey, Phoenix. Phoenix. Hey, Phoenix. Look at me. Phoenix, can you hear me? Can you go get my drink? Can you go get my drink from downstairs? I left it down there. Okay. Nice chat. Cause your boy feeling a little thirsty at the moment, and I don't have my. I look down to get, grab it, and I don't have it. Mm. 
So, I wasn't going to play this match because Superman was on the outside, but I've played with custom managers on the outside before. So, I will be playing this match. However, I am playing as Lita. There's a lot of blab, blab, bad blood here. But Lita will be facing Desi Cakes on Sunday for the Raw Women's Championship. Quick calls for the bell. And Lita with a drop kick. Nia Jax a little off balance before another drop kick was unsuccessful. The shoot. Nice over. Nice throw from Jax. Maybe I need a drink. I got some lodge in my throat. Lita fighting back against Nia Jax. Nia Jax off the ropes. Looks like Lita went for a spear but was unsuccessful. Where was this fight in Jax when the title was on the line? Went to pick Lita up, was unsuccessful. Nice forearm. I don't know what Lita's plan was there. Maybe to just get away, but Nia Jax not going to let that happen. Looking for a pin. Referee didn't know about it. Lita pushes the the foot of Nia Jax away with a one count. And it rolls away. Off the ropes. And another spear. And Jax is able to counter it. And Jax might need another tunnel match in the near future. There's this new fight in her. Lita bringing in Jax now. Has she put Nia Jax off her feet yet? <laughs> Lita getting Nia Jax up. Looking for a twist of fate. Connects it. Crawls into the cover. But, but Nia Jax is right there on the ropes. Nice kick to the gut. Chop to the stomach it looked like nice clothesline now Lita able to try to build some momentum up here and it goes up beautiful her corona trying to get the fans pumped up here I mean she needs it because this episode is boring <laughs> nice chop but oh man it could have been a nice chop Drop kick, unable to knock her down forearm. And Nia Jax is in like a beast mode of some sort as Lita's able to take her down. See, Lita's feeling a little tired. She hits another twist of fate, crawling into the cover. And Jax is able to kick out again. Lita going up top. Moonsault connects. Cover. And Lita takes the win. Good, because I was going to hit the other Moonsault if she kicked out. <laughs> that was dumb. That's like where the match really turned around. She had two twists of fates, showing three of them. They're going to show what won the match, the moonsault. And Carmella and Natalia. I'm going to be playing this match as Natalia. I 
referee calls for the Belmont's match is underway. I don't know why Truth is out here. Natalia picks up Carmella and drops her on her neck. Nice leg drop from Natalia. Natalia goes up top. DDT. Forearm to Carmella. Carmella comes back in a nice elbow from the Queen of Hearts. Let's get her and, and uh, Shayna Baszler to work together. The Queen of Hearts and the Queen of Spades. Went for a drop kick was unsuccessful. As Carmella picks up Natalia, calling her up with tie up, and Natalia pushes Carmella away with a beautiful clothesline, sending Carmella down to the floor. I don't know. It sounded like somebody screamed outside. <laughs> Definitely gonna take my headphones off. That. Nice knee to the back. Drops Natalia. Close line from Carmella. Nice elbow dropping Carmella. Who's on six? The Northern Light Suplex is delivered. Another suplex out on the ramp. Stealing LED lights. Sends Carmelo back into the ring. As Natalia heads up top. Double axe handle was un was unsuccessful because she was unable to connect it. Pulls her back with a tack to the knee. Tack to the back. I'm really off my game tonight, guys. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I don't even know why I'm tired. I think I got a good night's rest, too. What do you think? How do you, how do you feel, Phoenix? You tired? Okay. She don't talk to me much. Carmella up for an alley-oop. Leg drop to Carmella. Knee to the head. Nice, a nice dragon screw to Carmella. Carmella should have saved that resilience if she's gonna need it. Arm drag from Natalia. Nice attack. Ooh, just stomped right on her jaw. Tomorrow night, guys, on SmackDown, we have a uh, six man. Over the top rope battle royal to figure out who's going to be facing the Rock at so at SummerSlam. His Rock still doesn't have a number one contender just yet. Wicked clothesline, dropping Carmella. Those are back attacking the back. Natalia with the double axe handle. Dropping Carmella on the outside. Carmella sent back into the ring. Natalia slides in. That's how people be sliding in the DMs. And then this is how the relationship usually ends. Just by pure pain and sadness. Didn't like it, ain't nothing to of that. No. Okay, okay. I'm gonna <laughs> Got a little too real there. 
when I say that that's how relationships end, I don't mean like by physical contact like that. That's not. I I don't mean that at all. I meant by just like pain. Right. Just like the breakup, which is like horrible. No, oh, I thought I had a <laughs> finisher. Will after this as Natty by Nature connects. And Carmella has resiliency. Hopefully like, she'll use it in here. Oh, she didn't use it, period. Natty by Nature is able to take the win. I'm glad she didn't use it there. Kitty, kitty, kitty. She had her tongue like halfway out. There's just she was like, yeah, I'm talking about you. But up next, we for the starting our men's action tonight, we have King Kaiba taking on Mike Kanellis. Uh, where's uh, why is Ultimate Warrior on that side? He's not supposed to be on that side. Ultimate Warrior turning like they're supposed to. This is all kinds of messed up. Maybe we'll fix when the match actually starts. Great call shows Bell, Mike Kanellis, and King Cover started this match off with a massive clothesline. And I okay, and Ultimate Warrior is on the right side. Is on the right side. Well, technically he's on the left side of the ring, but you know, into an early cover. With the United States Champion outside the ring, Jed, who will be facing King Kaiba this Sunday as a crucifix takes down Mike Kanellis. King. Kaiba sends Canellis. Nice kick. Another kick. Wheelbarrow. I don't know how Kaiba was able to pull stuff off like this. Nice, nice, nice. Taking down to the arm bar. Canelo's going to do here. King Cobb has really just been taking it to Canelo's tonight. Canelo's able to roll out. But that did a lot of damage. As Mike Canelo's is able to make me backtrack my words there with a beautiful big boot. Is, is that, could that be enough to beat King Cobb? It is not as he's able to kick out of Canelo's now on the attack. Nice kick from, nice DDT from Mike Canelo's. Picks up Kaiba. Nice elbow to the back of the head as he is a little shaky. Knee to the back. Canelo's picking up King Kaiba. Kick to the gut again as a DDT is delivered. You're a noggy. Drop kicks able to take down King Kaiba. He moves him to the middle of the ring. Is driving the boot to the foot. Driving the boot to the foot. The boot to the gut of King Kaiba. Kicks to the back and Kaiba is forced to lay down. And now again just driving the boot to the gut again as King Kaiba just is absolutely getting pressed. King Kaiba is able to evade that boot, but you know, those boots to the midsection could have done enough damage to be why King Kaiba was moving a little slower than he usually does. I don't know what exactly that was, but King Kaiba is going to get to take some off of it with him. Northern Lights suplex is delivered to Mike Kanellis. I don't know what King Kaiba looks like. He looks like the Nor Northern Lights. 
kick to the back. Cover from King Kaiba. Mike Knowles is up with a super kick, gets connected, and you see Kaiba quickly moves into the mode of like, okay, I gotta get this match taken care of as he goes into the pin like I was just explaining. The three counts to two and he is not able to keep Mike Knowles down. Kaiba could be ending this match here. Picks up Canellas with the fireman's carry slam into the cover. And Mike Canellas is able to kick out again. Uh, Kaiba just looks angry, but he's not able to do, use that anger to his advantage. Mike Canellas is able to take him down with a quick super kick. Is actually invaded by King Kaiba into your Inziguri to a double foot stomp to Mike Canellas. And Mike Canellas is. Now, not on the defense, I don't think King Kaiba is very happy right now as he kicks him right in the head. That looks like a knockdown Mike Canella is enough. King Kaiba now with an Irish whip to Mike Canella sent into the corner. Turns him around. Picks him up and he's really looking for something here. Mike Canella is really high in the air. Not only was he on top of those turnbuckles, but he was also on top of King Kaiba's shoulder. Mike Canellas just seemed like he's asleep. Like he doesn't know where he is. Went for a super kick. Mike Canellas was able to evade it as Mike Canellas could be looking for a super kick. It was already does, and King Kaiba goes down easily as Mike Canellas pulls him away from the rope so he doesn't get a rope break into a cover. As referee goes for the pin, and, and Kaiba's able to easily kick out. Punch to the face. Mike Canellas tried to do a something there, but was unsuccessful. I don't know what Mike Canellas is trying to do <laughs> as a super kick is hit from King Kaiba. Kaiba going into the cover. Mike Canellas. Kick at it too. King Kaiba with a fireman's carry slam. King Kaiba gets the pin. Why is Steve Austin late? No, no. Okay, guys, just this ain't happening at all. Because this is a glitch, and this ain't happening at all because Stone Cold doesn't even need to just forget this happening. This ain't happening. I like how I cover the camera like that's a, like that's avoiding what's actually happening. <laughs> just can't see me okay that didn't happen moving on <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube I hope you just like skip past it <laughs> but anyways we have Matt Hardy taking on one half of the tag team champions and Randy Orton no I want to be Randy no I don't yes I do now, who do I want to be I want to be Randy I'll be Randy I'll be Randy tag team championships will be on the line this Sunday when Demon's voices take on the Hardy Boys. Fans quickly get behind Randy Orton. Is, he's able to just attack. Now, I don't know what's up with Randy's health. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> nice uppercut. What, Phoenix? What? What? Matt Hardy sent to the outside of the ring. Blows line from Matt. Now, enough fans are getting behind Matt Hardy. Randy on the attack outside the ring. To get a hold of Matt Hardy, but was not able to do so. Face first into the post. Oh no 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 no! Same under Finn Balor. <laughs> These two need to get back in the ring. Matt Hardy sends Randy Orton in. 
Kick to the back was unsuccessful as Randy Orton gets right back up. Punch to the head, dropping Matt Hardy. The first stop was unsuccessful as Matt Hardy's able to roll outside the ring. And Randy Orton can't seem to figure out how to get outside of a WWE ring with, as he hits a drop kick on Matt Hardy, dropping him down. Matt Hardy went for a something there, but a something ain't gonna happen. Uh, that needs to be a wrestling move, a something. What, Phoenix? I think she's in heat right now. But she ain't getting none, I'll tell you that much. That ain't gonna happen, Phoenix. Huh? Yeah. Nice loose ass press from Randy Orton. Chop is able to drop Matt Hardy. Orton, the vengeful stomps. I like this one right here. Or into a cover off those stumps. And it had, and it worked. I didn't think it was gonna work. I just decided why not. I mean, Randy Orton fell down to one knee, so I figured, eh, he could try. But you know, if Randy Orton's able to do that on Sunday, he came the tag team championships. On to the next. I'm really out of frame. Is my camera higher than usual or something? Up next, right, we have our tag team action. Mike Kanellis is going back out there. Just got his butt handed to him. But we have the hated Dave Smith and one half of the... One half. And the United States champion, Jed, taking on Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Is it raining? What do you think, Phoenix? Is it raining or something? Calls for the bell and this match is underway. Calling another tie up is Jay and Jed start this match. Jay backs Jed up into the corner. Another caller on over tie up. Jed's able to transition to the back, and Jay is able to take down Jed quite easily. As Jed wrenches on the fingers, it looks like to get an upper hand. As Jay's able to turn it around to a headlock, you know, right now they they could get, probably get like a tag and try to get a easy, you know, tag and like like, like seek a sneak attack on Jed, but they're not going to do that. Jed pushes Jay away. Another collar and over tie up is Jay's able to. Attack on the arm. Another wrench is Jed's able to go on the arm and take down Jay. These two men very easily taking the time. Jed's able to get a headlock on Jay, but Jay's able to push him off the ropes. Went for an elbow, was unsuccessful. Jed and Jay, another collar and elbow tie. As Jed puts him into another headlock, but this time takes him down quickly so we cannot get that push off the ropes. Nice punch of the head, and Jay's able to take down Jed now. What? He was like grabbing me. What does the Phoenix want? What does the Phoenix want? Mm. Your face is wet. Come here. Is your face wet? I don't know what just happened. <laughs> The face is right? These two men are outside the ring now. Jay's gonna send Jay back in. Jay turns Jay around. In the dangerous territory. Jay now, his shoulder dropping Jay Uso down. Jay rolls out, which is, I see another thing that I hate about 2K. And that's a disqualification, but the referee ain't going to call it. 
That's even more of a disqualification than the ref ain't gonna call it. <laughs> Jed picks up Jey Uso. Head first into the... I need to turn that off. I turned it off for one, for one reason only. For my uh, 2K Towers. Which, do you guys like seeing me uh, do 2K Towers? Because I feel like the 2K Tower videos don't get a lot of attention. But if you, but if you guys do want to see me do more 2K Towers, just let me know. Jay crawling to the corner, tagging out to Jimmy. Jimmy's fresh as they can get. But Jed's gonna easily put that down a couple notches into a cover. But I think I think Jimmy's a little too fresh. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy kicks out easily. But if you see if Jed wouldn't let that tag happen. Nice knee lifting. Another knee lifting. Jimmy's a little. Jimmy rolls out to the outside. Jed. Jake Maverick coming around. <laughs> it looks like my canals just realized that they're outside the ring. Nice neck breaker from Jed. Jed sends Jimmy into the corner. Nice knee lift from Jimmy. Nice kick to the gut and a DDT from Jimmy Uzo. United States champion goes to the outside. Jimmy rolls to the outside. we we'll retrieve Jed. He looks like that stomp for the lot. Jimmy sends Jed back into the ring. Irish whip sends Jed into the corner. Ooh. Nice hip attack. Jed into a pin and Jed able to kick out belly to belly and Jed's gonna let this tag happen and here comes Jay back into the ring with for a form was unsuccessful as Jed tried to win, I guess, or whatever else. Jay sends across the ring into the corner. Jed sends Jay back into that corner. Jed just having fun with his Irish whips, but see, that's where the dangers come into. He's using his shoulders to his advantage. to the chest dropping Jay Jay rolls to the outside again which is I don't understand I don't understand that at all like what's the purpose of that like I can understand it in like you know triple threats and fed of four ways and so on but like it's not necessary here Jed picking up Jay. Jay went for like a body slam it looked like, but Jed's able to counter that. Torture rack. A torture rack. Do like a GTS type. As Jed goes into the cover. And Jimmy breaks it up. I, Dave sends 
Jimmy to the floor and Northern Light suplex into a cover, but Jay's able to get the ropes there. Double underhook power bomb. Rolls Jet out rolls Jay over into a pin. Jimmy slides back in. But that time the hated Jay to take the win. He just kicked Jay. <laughs> he like kicked the Jay. <laughs> He's right at his ankle. Idiot. <laughs> Here are your winners. All right. Hold on a second, guys. I might be canceling some matches tonight. <laughs> How many more that we got? Oh, we just have the. Okay. <laughs> I will be playing this match as King AJ. What Phoenix? What? You guys need to go follow her on Instagram, the Phoenix Kitty Kitty. And uh you need to go follow our uh, TikTok, which is at Prince underscore Truth. Ain't that right, Phoenix? Also, if you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button, guys. So weird. He's about to grab the crown and rip it off. Well, I know why he does it, because he has the hood. But right now, he's King AJ. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. King. Oh, King. The phenomenal King. He does so much motion around his head and with his head, that crown would just fly off. Yeah. So we can skip the Miz then. I'm a huge fan of the Miz, but he doesn't have any like titles or titles. AJ Styles went for a clothesline was unsuccessful. Miz hits a big boot. And over the top of the DDT. Went for a stomp was unsuccessful. Picks up. The Miz into his sh just crushing the shin. Well, yeah, it's, it's maybe crushing the calf. That was not a calf crusher. In a way, in a, in a sense, it was, but like, it was not a calf crusher. AJ sends the Miz off the ropes as Miz jumps over. Nice perk a runner from King AJ. Maurice going at AJ Styles. Miz comes over. It's a hold of AJ, but AJ ain't gonna fall victim to that. I don't know exactly what happened there, but I'll take it. Dodge down on the face of the Miz. Like if, if blood works correctly in this game, I wouldn't turn it off, but it doesn't work correctly in this game. Okay, no blood. Like, um... Or... Edna from Incredibles? No kips. Is that her name Edna? If I'm not right, correct. Let me know in the comments. AJ Styles again. Now nah, here's a calf pressure. Miz locks in a calf. I'm sorry. Miz gets a calf pressure locked in on him. AJ Styles has him in the calf pressure. But not able to 
win the match with that. That's avoiding the drop kick. Miz is in dangerous predicament here. Styles clash. And King AJ again is able to beat the Miz. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I do thank you guys so much for what... Wait, hold on. Maybe not yet. Hold on. No. <laughs> AJ. He's looking his eye. Like that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I do thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys ever miss anything and you guys want to catch up on everything, head over to my YouTube channel at Prince Truth. If you're not there already, if you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button. Turn those push notifications so you never miss an episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, guys, I am.